Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and I wanted to show you how you can use jQuery to actually change the source attribute of an image. So you might want to do this for a few different reasons. Uh, it might be when the user clicks a button or some form data is kind of filled out. You might want to update an image or an icon that's been displayed. Um, you've probably got some kind of use case for it yourself, um, but I'm just going to show you in this video how you actually implement the jQuery code to go about making that image change. So I've just got an image on my uh, web current web page at the moment, uh, just an image of a person, and I'm going to use jQuery to change the image attribute um, so that it displays a different person. So let's have a look at the code at the moment. So here we go. It's just a basic uh, standard HTML template, and all I've got really in there at the moment is the uh, picture that you're seeing on the page which is why it looks really plain at the moment. Uh, so I've actually gone ahead and included um, jQuery as well. So um, if you want to go and use a CDN, it's probably the easiest and quickest way to actually include jQuery in your uh, uh, project. So when using jQuery, obviously the first thing you need to do is set up a script tag um, to run the code that you're uh, intending for this particular uh, page. And that should always be below um, where you've imported jQuery. Um, otherwise, it won't recognize any of the jQuery symbols that you're writing. So I'm going to start off using the document ready function. And the shortcut to do that is just to use the jQuery dollar sign and then put an anonymous function inside that. So that will mean that once the document has loaded, so all of the uh, HTML tags have been parsed by the browser and you've got a, a DOM, a document object model ready, then you can start actually manipulating that. So I could do this in one of several ways really, um, but I'm just going to select all of the images on the uh, page, which is just this one at the moment, which is fine. So once you've actually selected the image, um, you can actually start uh, changing it or kind of modifying it in, in any way. So as you've, you can see in the tag that we've got up here, the image on the page has got an, an SRC attribute uh, equal to the first picture. So all I want to do really is change that SRC, uh, the source attribute. And the easiest and quickest way to do that with jQuery is using the ATTR method, which is basically short for attributes. And you can see there, you can either retrieve the name of an attribute. So I want to retrieve the uh, the source, uh, but I can also give it a new value as well. So if I wanted to say pick two, what we should see now when we load the page back up in uh, Chrome is that as soon as that page is refreshed and the, and the new page is loaded, it instantly changes to the uh, other picture that we've specified. And if we keep kind of refreshing it, no, I can't get it. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of kind of flash of the uh, the first picture being displayed. It's because it happens so fast that, and there's nothing else on the page to slow it down, that you, you're not going to really see that. So I guess the question is really, why would you do that when the document loads? Because why not just change the, the SRC attribute of the image tag that you've already got to the second picture and that's a fair question really that's a bit of a, a contrived example to actually show you there so how about a button click because that or that that's probably going to be um, a trigger that would be useful for you to actually then go ahead and uh, and change uh, that that image that's on the page so first thing I'm going to do is just add in a button so this isn't going to be the prettiest I'm not going to style it or anything but I'll just give that an ID of um, BTN, for example, and just say change picture. What I'll also do just to demonstrate as well is I'm going to give the image uh, an ID as well. So um, I will say that's um, picture. Okay. So let's refresh the page just and you can see now that that button is there. Okay, so we want to hook up an event listener to that button. So at the moment when we click it, it doesn't do anything. So back in the document ready part of our, our jQuery uh, code here, I'm going to say 
I'm going to select the BTN uh, button element that we've got on the page and I'm going to say on click and I'm going to pass in a function to that. So this is a syntax for setting up any event listener in, in jQuery. You simply use the on function and pass in the type of event that you want to listen for. So on click, we want to run this function. So the only thing I really need to do now is put in the different image uh, into there. So that's the same code that we had before, but it's only going to run now once the event listener is fired. So if we go back to the HTML document, you can see we've got the original picture in there and it's not changing. Uh, but when I click the button, it obviously changes and runs that code that we had before. So that's just a simple way of uh, creating an event listener and hooking that up to our kind of jQuery function. So that's pretty much all you need to know for changing the 